When I say filters, you probably think about settings on your phone or software, but actual filters, the kinds you add to your lens before taking photos are the original heroes. If you don't have them in your kit, you're missing out and making life harder. There are some filters that we still can't do without, and with these three, a UV, a circular polarizer, and a neutral density filter, you're gonna up your photo game. First things first, make sure you buy the right size filter for your lens. Every lens is threaded to accept the filter, but as you know, lenses come in different sizes. So just look on the lens itself and usually on the front element right there, along with your focal distance, you'll see the lens diameter listed. It's usually a two digit number with a diameter symbol next to it. Now this is the filter thread size you should use when buying a filter for your favorite lens. First up, the UV protector. A UV filter is a glass filter that attaches to the front of your camera lens and blocks out ultraviolet rays. Basically, it cuts down on haze for crisper photos, but even better, it protects your precious and expensive lens for low cost of a UV filter. That's just good thinking in my mind. So dirt, scratches, the occasional lens slip, boom, the UV filter has your back. If you've never used polarized sunglasses before, do yourself a favor and try them. It's like the world in HD. Seriously, you'll thank me. Colors are brighter, like someone turned up the intensity. That's because the polarizer cuts down on the component of polarized light reflecting off of moisture and pollution in the sky. And this in turn makes the sky really pop. It increases contrast and saturation, and I know you like that. And when you get shots of the water, it's magic cutting down reflections and glare. It's useful when photographing people wearing glasses because it cuts glare so you can see their eyes. So remember, bright daylight or situations where there's a lot of glare, this is your filter. Now, polarizing filters have a rotating ring that allow you to adjust the amount of the effect. And how does it do it? Well, science. Uh, polarization is really cool, so look it up. Last but not least, the neutral density filter. Now, have you ever looked at a photo and thought, how did they do that? Well, in this shot, the trick is to use a neutral density filter. These filters simply cut out the amount of light that will hit your sensor. They come in different strengths and you can easily select the one you need by figuring out how many stops of light you want to reduce. Altero Photo has a convenient ND filter set that comes with three filters, an ND2, an ND4 and an ND8, which will reduce the amount of light that passes through the lens by one, two, and three stops. You can also stack the filters to achieve a total of six stops of light reduction. It would be impossible to get a long exposure during the day without one. And like this shot, if you tried to shoot without an ND filter, your picture would be a washed out mess. That's why when you want to shoot at a slower shutter speeds during the day, or at wider apertures, a neutral density filter is a must have. Now an ND filter is not just for long exposures. It's a great tool to use when doing portraits outdoors in brightly lit environments. Say you have a 50 or 85 millimeter fast aperture prime lens, but when you tried to shoot it wide open on the beach to isolate your subject, your image was getting washed out. Put on an ND filter and you'll cut some of the light, letting you open up your lens for that smooth bokeh effect. Now, I definitely recommend keeping these filters in your camera bag at all times. Buy a set for the lenses that you use most often. Altura Photo has some great filters that won't break the bank. One of their most popular sets is the Professional Photography Filter Kit, which comes with a UV, a circular polarizer, and a neutral density filter, which is available in most lens sizes. The filters come in a nicely padded protective pouch that is easy to store in your camera bag. Do you have any tips or hacks on using these lens filters? Drop us a line in the comment section below. And as always, thanks for watching. Catch you in the next video.